there are two shaded regions. Let's construct a square with the same area as the shaded regions. There is a general method to construct a square with the same area as a given shape. First, we need to construct a rectangle with the same area as the given shape. In this problem, we have a right triangle and three semicircles of different sizes. The area of the shaded regions is the total area minus the largest semicircle's area. The overall shape consists of this semicircle, this semicircle, and the right triangle. Now, notice that the sum of the areas of these two semicircles is equal to the area of this largest semicircle. This is the Pythagorean theorem. The sum of the areas of these two squares is equal to the area of this square. We can extend this theorem to similar shapes based on these three sides. It holds true not only for regular polygons, but for any similar shape. Of course, semicircles are included. Thus, the sum of the areas of these two semicircles is equal to the area of this semicircle. Therefore, the area of the shaded regions is equal to the area of the right triangle. Converting this right triangle into a rectangle is easy. Draw a perpendicular line passing through this point. Draw the perpendicular bisector of this segment. This part is congruent to this part. This part is also congruent to this part. The area of the right triangle is equal to the area of this rectangle. Now, it's time to construct a square with the same area as this rectangle. Extend this line. Draw a circle with this segment as its radius. A new intersection point appears. Draw the perpendicular bisector of this segment. Draw a circle with this segment as its radius. Extend this segment. A new intersection point appears where it meets the circle. Now, draw a square using this segment as one of its sides. This is the square with the same area as the rectangle. Since in a right triangle, the square of this length is equal to this length multiplied by this length. This square also has the same area as the shaded regions. This problem was actually one of the most famous in the history of mathematics. It was about replacing part of a circle with a square, essentially turning a curve into straight lines. Once this was solved, mathematicians turned their attention to a bigger challenge squaring the circle. Many were confident that it could be done as well, but no one succeeded. In the end, a mathematician proved that squaring the circle was impossible. If you are curious about this proof, please watch my another video. I have great admiration for those who wrestled with this problem, exploring every possible approach in pursuit of a solution.